Hi, I'm Kyle Olson. Every day, our organization, EAG News, wrestles with the following questions. What are our children being taught in school? And how is the information they're learning going to change America? Those are important questions to ask, especially given that government schools in more than 40 states will soon be teaching students a curriculum that's aligned to the new Common Core national standards. There are still a lot of questions about Common Core. One of the biggest is, what kinds of ideas are leftists going to try and slip into your child's classroom through the Common Core experiment? That's a difficult question to answer, since it's up to individual school districts to decide how they're going to teach the new math and English standards to students. What we do know is that most school districts in Common Core aligned states won't be designing their own unique curriculum. That would take a lot of time, money, and brain power to do. Instead, most school districts have purchased, or will purchase, a pre-written Common Core Ready curriculum from a major textbook company like the Zaner Blozer Company. EAG News recently bought a stack of Common Core aligned teacher guides produced by Zaner Blozer because we wanted to know what some students are being taught in regards to the American experiment, freedom, and rights. The guides we purchased are for first through sixth grades and feature different texts promoted by the Common Core Learning Standards. Each text comes with a week's worth of related lessons. One of the books recommended for third graders is C.C. Puede, Yes We Can. Zaner Blozer includes this book with its very familiar phrase in its Rights and Responsibilities themed unit. Now most Americans would probably want a unit about rights and responsibilities to be firmly rooted in the constitutional principles of individual rights, as described by the Bill of Rights, and limited government. But that's not the goal of the C.C. Puede book and lesson plans. According to the Zaner Blozer Guide, the central question for students to grapple with during these lessons is, quote, how can we work together as a community to stand up for our rights? Cece Puede tells the story of a 1985 SEIU-led janitor strike in Los Angeles. Now, as some of you may know, SEIU refers to the Service Employees International Union, one of the largest and most radical far-left labor unions in the country. So that apparently is the kind of community Zaner Blozer authors are interested in. In their teacher's guide, the Zaner Blozer authors say the janitors went on strike, quote, for more money because their wages were too low to be fair, end quote. Keep in mind, this unit is geared for eight and nine-year-olds who have no understanding about how labor markets work or the economic principle of supply and demand. And yet they're being told that janitors weren't making a, quote, fair wage. That's not all they're being taught. In the guide, teachers are told to introduce students to the vocabulary word of the week, protest. The book instructs the teacher, quote, remind students that a protest is an event in which people publicly show their strong disapproval of something. Discuss protests throughout the week. Challenge students to use the word while speaking and writing, end quote. After students read the book and learn about underpaid janitors and what a protest is, the guide tells teachers to help students apply these concepts to their lives. They do that by brainstorming about problems they believe exist in their school. In case the kids can't identify any problems in their school in need of protesting, the Zaner Blozer authors helpfully offer this as an example. No talking in the lunchroom. The authors even suggest a solution. Protest by making signs and marching. So here you have a Common Core aligned lesson instructing third graders in the ways of holding a public protest against their adult school leaders. And we have teachers, teachers, who are showing eight and nine year olds how to be defiant and unruly. Isn't that nice? Keep in mind this lesson the next time you hear about behavioral problems in our schools. Oh, and in case you're wondering, Nowhere in the Rights and Responsibilities Teacher's Guide is there any mention of the founding of America, 
Are God-given rights enshrined in the Constitution or the protection of individual rights through limited government? But we shouldn't be too surprised. These are the things you get when left-wing activists control what our students learn. That's why it's so important that parents pay attention to what's going on in their child's school. I implore you to find out what your children are being taught. There's a real agenda to push these issues on very young children. To learn more about Common Core, what our students are learning, and how leftists are changing America, visit eagnews.org. I'm Kyle Olson. Thanks for watching.